Welcome back to Lobo Basketball. You are watching live on Longview Game Day. I'm Frank Sides, joined as always by Keaton Daniels. And tonight we've got the Longview Lobos hosting the Hallsville Bobcats on senior night. And uh, Keaton, we got some really good news from, from Lobo Land on the road a minute ago. The Lady Lobos have defeated um, Keaton. I forgot the name of the school already. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Kingwood Park out of out of Houston. Uh, the final was 38-26. The Lady Lobos put on a defensive effort and have advanced to round two. We'll find out pretty soon where they're going to be. Keith, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm excited to hear the Lady Lobos pulled it out first round in the playoffs. Um, shout out to them, man. Keep going. Keep pushing. We, we, we're here to support you every step of the way. And Hallsville wins the tip. And we're underway here live on Senior Night. Lobos have already locked in a playoff spot, but they do have something to play for tonight. If they win, they are the two seed in the district. And uh, in turn, we'll face the three seed in another district. So, oh, a yeah. lot on the line tonight. Blandenburg, ooh, nice play. Nice play by there, right there by Barnabas to get, to, get, to get two points early. Barnabas Ballerain, the junior postman. Pretty good that possession. Yep, he's, he's looking aggressive, starting out good. Like Hallsville. We said it during the hall during the girls' game, during uh, softball season, base baseball season. When Halls was in town, no matter what, you're going to get their best effort if you're Longview. And you expect a good crowd here, and this crowd hasn't disappointed. Um, this part for the boys' game, this may have been the this may be besides Pine Tree our largest crowd tonight. So I'm expecting a exciting exciting atmosphere. It's a playoff playoff style game. Um, Hallsville is all, also playing for something. They're fourth right now. They, they need this win to, to kind of lock that seed. They haven't uh, locked in a playoff spot just yet. And uh, the freshman and JV boys both won close ones for Longview earlier. Really close ones. I believe they're both one-point game. Mm -hmm. Frank, I believe the last time we did play Hallsville, we was able to come out on top in, in that outing. Gonna have a foul on Campbell Williams as 20 Landon Bowden, the senior, tries to turn the corner. They are not gonna call him for the foul on the shot. Also will inbound the ball, and he just throws it off Kendall Mitchell. They're gonna keep possession. Pretty good right now. They're moving. 
Making us work. Barnabas again. And that rain. And Blamberg affects that shot. But Mitchell out ahead of the break. Pass is thrown away by Justice. It's going to be Hallsville basketball. Last time these Lobos were on the court, they went on the road and beat a really good Tyler team. Uh, I was covering soccer. You were there. Keaton said they played with a little bit of urgency and uh, some, some efficiency we hadn't seen from Lobos in a couple weeks. Yeah, they was very res resilient, too. They, um, it was senior night for, for Tyler High. Tyler High came out, came out with a lot of energy. Um, Longview matched their energy, and when, and when they got the lead, they never looked back. And there's a steal. Kendall Mitchell with Ballerain trailing. Oh, Whoa, what a man. block. Big time effort there. By Unbelievable <laughs> defensive play yeah, by 11. Never gave up, and, and we was able to get the block. Wow. Hey, it's good to see. <laughs> it's a big night already for Barnabas Ballerain. Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. Scored the bucket and made an incredible defensive effort there to, to I guess, a dunk attempt yeah. from behind. Yeah, Chris, Chris Mitchell kind of slowed up a little bit because he thought he was just by himself. And Barnabas wasn't having none of that. Yeah, as his teammates is congratulating him right now for that effort because he saved saved two points in the turn, made it a three point swing because they they missed that free throw there. And Anton McDermott, junior for Hallsville, number twenty two, misses the second free throw. So Longview only trails by three early. And I'll be interested to see if Hallsville has done the advanced scouting and tries to give the Lobos some trouble with the pressure yeah. on the, the full court. And because I have a feeling that's something we're going to run into in the playoffs. Uh, it's looking like something. Nice entry pass. Blamberg, be okay. Be okay, big man. It looks Got their like, feet tied up yeah. there. It, it looks like they, they they have been doing a little a little bit of self-scouting because one thing that John Tyler, or Tyler High didn't do, when we had that high, that, that, that high post and we was coming off that high screen, Tyler was, was coming underneath it, and, and right now Hallsville is showing help early to, Open to, look. to not give Justice up a three. three from the corner, just off. Rebound kicked around. It's going to be Longview's basketball. That's a good look there. Yeah, it was a good look. He, he'll knock those down if you keep, continue to keep leaving him open. Once we get word where the Lady Lobos are going to play on Friday night, we'll let you know. And uh, with the boys being off Friday, warm up for playoffs, we're going to try to bring it to you. Put back, Blandberg. It's good effort there by Blandberg. He wasn't going to be denied getting the second effort as he was able to, to make it count for two points for us to get us on the board. And keep in mind when I say that, we're talking we've got two days prepared for a, a road basketball game in a gym we've never been in, yeah. so we'll do everything we can. The Longview trails by one, four and a half to go in the first quarter. Look at that. I thought Chris Head might have got called for the push off with the elbow there, but they're going to get the Hallsville player for that one. Yeah. As a student section, they, 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 they're in agreements with the ref, telling them they can't do that. <laughs> Blamberg is working. He's working inside. Lobos taking their time. Kendall Mitchell, he turns the corner, passes it to Justice, finds Mitchell. That's blocked. And it's Hallsville basketball. Hallsville is playing with a lot of energy on both sides of the ball. Three-point money. Right Luke, in. Luke Cheatham. Yeah, Luke, Luke stepped right into that shot, right, 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 in, uh, right in stride. It's a good-looking stroke from the yeah. top of the key there. He got to his money spot there. He, he looked good doing it. Blamberg thought about a three of his own, but passed it up. And Campbell Williams is going to be fouled. That's 11, Barnabas Ballerain. Called with the foul before the shot. Lobo basketball, three and a half left first quarter. If you're watching this, share the feed. Let everybody know where they can catch the Lobos on a Tuesday night. Justice passes the three up. Blamberg calls for it. Makes a move to the basket, mid-range jumper move. just off. Love the, love the effort. Love the idea of that. That's five. Jace Johnston with the finish. It's been all Hallsville right now to start. Yeah, the Lobos look just a little bit out of sync on offense early. Yep. But it is very early. It's very early. We'll find our groove. You can tell they, they got heavy emphasis on stopping, on stopping the, our bigs down low. 
as they're as they're trying to double team Blanberg whenever he tries to seal his opponent. They're going to get 30 for that foul, Luke Cheatham. That's his first, but that's four quick fouls for Hallsville. That's one way to get the offense out of a slump is to give them some free throws. Mm -hmm. We're Absolutely. getting close already. Absolutely. If, if Longview can see an easy basket to go in, that that that, that, uh, that can turn their confidence. And it's, like I said, it's early. And we've got some instant energy off the bench of Chris Walder. You yeah. need some of that. Oh, yeah, big time. He comes in and plays with some intensity. Not that he's, he's checking in yet, but it's there if we need it. Yes, indeed. He, he played some big-time minutes in that Tyler Mitchell High game. Going to travel. In that Tyler High Friday night game, especially in the second half. He was, he, he, he was very pivotal. And I, it's, and again, not in a negative way, but the Lobos just look like they're a little sluggish at the moment. Yeah. They don't look like I've seen them all year. Yeah, that, that's the unfortunate part here because – you can tell Hallsville is playing for something, and, and we kind of been playing on cruise Open control. look for three. Yeah. Dang. Black. That's a good shot there. The yeah. junior McDermott knocks yeah. another one down. That's yeah. a quick nine-point lead for the Bobcats. So we're going to take a break with them. We'll be back in about 30 seconds live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. Alrighty, welcome back. Two and a half left to go first quarter. Lobo's down nine really quickly. And Hallsville's just been firing on all cylinders early here, yeah. defensively and offensively. Yeah, the, the good thing about the start for us is that we've already, this is probably the lowest that we can be. We can now, we can now only go up from here. So hopefully we can continue to keep, we can come back with a good set here, get us a basket to get us on, on the board to be, able to, to be able to see that we can score against this team. Need to get into the offense a little bit here. Yeah. It's all, it's been all, just kind of shot creation type offense, and Absolutely. that's not going to work against this Hallsville defense. Yeah, you can't play one-on-one -on -one ball. If you can just try to move the ball, work the ball around, and not be in the area to get get into to get into a shot. Good look for three. three. Boom. There we go. And there we go. Big screen at the top of the key there by Blandberg. Frees up Kendall Mitchell to knock down an open three. And just like that, six six four game. Uh oh. Step back three, no good. Blamberg knocks it around, ends up with the basketball, and he's going to step out of bounds. But we'll, we'll take that three if he's if he's trying to beat Chris Mitchell off the dribble, and he's going to take a three like that. We'll we'll take that all game, even though he looks good doing it. Sure. But him taking the three that far away from the basket. Absolutely, that's a that's a shot we'll let early, have. like early into the. With one league. caveat, if that coach is okay with him shooting that, that means he's probably, oh, yeah. probably got a good shot. Right, absolutely. absolutely, we'll let him have it though. It's better getting inside. Yes. Nice pass. He passed up the open look, though. Lobo showing a little bit more intensity here, this defensive possession. You want to stay back, Blamberg. Chris Wilder's checked into the game. Going to get called for an early foul. Yeah, just a little bit too aggressive there. One minute left to go here in the first. Only a six-point game. Going to get Chris Head for a foul. That is two on the Lobo point guard. Three-pointer, corner. Good set right there. Good look. That's 22 again, McDermott. Yeah, that was a good set right there. Get out Probably going to want to get a hand in that kid's face. It yeah, looks like yeah. you got to. If you see this screen coming, you got to. You got to. You got to be able to switch out there to get to get to him. Lamberg turns the corner. Tough shot. Williams puts it back. That doesn't go. Davis just and one. You got to go. One. There you go. Hey, 
one, one thing too, you see this lineup that we got out there. We're playing with a lot of size. You you don't really see Chris Wilder, Gary, uh, we, you don't really see Wilder, Williams, and uh, Blandberg out there on the court a lot together. Won't see much of it here either <laughs> as Campbell Williams checks yep, out. Yep. But Hallsville has a lot of size too that we got to we, we, we got to keep up with. Absolutely. I think I like that matchup with Chris Garden, 22. I do, too. Going to need some athleticism because he's just moving without the basketball yeah. so well. Yeah. And he can clearly shoot. So Davis Justice finishes the three-point play. Still six-point game. And switch, and Mitchell's on 22 now. Lamberg, stay back. We don't need you out there. He's not shooting that. Not at all. Fade away from 22. No good. Right, Baller get a body. hustles for the rebound. Got to get a body out there on him. There you Almost go. Almost traveling. Ah. Lobos just aren't getting the loose balls right now, but that uh, that's just luck. Got seven seconds here. Four, three, three-point attempt. No good. Blamberg the rebound. That's going to do it for the first quarter. So the Longview Lobos trail the Hallsville Bobcats 14-8 to eight at the end of one. We are going to take a quick break, come back and bring you the second quarter. You're watching Lobo Basketball Live on Longview Game Day. At Godarji and Young, we take things more seriously. Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. All right, welcome back. Appreciate Juicy's Taco. Juicy's Hamburgers, one of our one of our sponsors here at Lombie Game Day that kind of helps us put these things on. Special thanks to Godarzy and Young. You see their logo on the screen. Those guys have been a big part of what we do here. Um, and again, I hate it, but if you ever do need them, um, tell them Lombie Game Day sent you. Frank, juices definitely sounds good right about now. It really now. does. All, it always sounds good, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yeah, that's, it's, I mean, it's too good, to be honest <laughs> with you. Got to stay out of that place. <laughs> Lobos begin the quarter with the basketball. 7.50 left to go. Mitchell for three. And that's no good. Rebound to 35. Kobe Gout gets his first minutes of the game. I believe Kobe has been brought up from JV for this one. Mm, not he on active. Added to the roster just today. The roster I have, he was added by pins. So that tells me he wasn't on there when the season started. Well, he, he's, expected, he's expected to play. Some big time minutes, especially being just added up. He's got some length to him. Yeah, he definitely does. Three point attempt, no good. Got a Ball block. tipped around. Uh oh, 22's got an open look. What a move. Bang. Ooh, yeah, that looked good. Yeah, he has great ball skills. And clearly has the, uh, the green light from coach to throw it up from wherever. Yeah. Stay down. Makes a move. <laughs> Goes up with it. Nice. I mean, I mean up, you can't defend that. Yeah, you cannot. McDermott is out there. He's putting on the clinic right now. Just he's, he's, he could just score the basketball. Yeah, he's looking real good so far. That's the first foul called on Grayson Magestro. And those two points come off a second chance, off a second chance points. One thing that we're not doing is rebounding. Uh, we're not we're not putting a body on a body. Oh! As we tried to convert, as Davis just to try to get an M1. Can't get that to go. But Davis is a really good free throw shooter, and just like that, we're in the bonus now. So Lobo shooting free throws for the rest of this 6:51 here in the sec first half. First one from Davis is just a little long. Second go. So Halls will leading by seven, seven with the ball. That's 30, 30, 
Third right there. D. There's 22 again. McDermott pulls up. There look you go. good, just long. Blamberg with the rebound. Lobo's going to look to set their offense up here and see if they can't start putting something together here offensively. Yeah, we want to see some good drives as he Let's take head to the basket. Nice and finish. One. There you and go. One. Right on cue, Frank. Good call. Let's smoke it up, and here, here we go, Anson. That's something Chris Head's just, like I said, he's built like a running back, so he can <laughs> take some he can take some contact inside and score. Oh yeah, I'm surprised that you don't see him play football. If you look at his legs, he, he's he, he's built like a Lobo player. Get him out there is what we need to do. Yeah. We still have a year left. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, that's the charge all day, right there. He was he was there waiting on him. Speaking of football, so. Surprising big news that a Lobo land since the last time we were live. Willie Nelson commits to play yes. football at Oklahoma yes. State. Man, That's happy, a big one. Yeah, big get. Yeah, happy to hear that for Willie. Yeah, he deserves it. He, he, he's the, one of the leaders back there in the secondary. And also shout out to, to Buda Gary for getting the offer from, from Texas State too oh, yeah. over the past week. That whole defense is going to have D1 offers oh, before yeah. the season starts. Oh, yeah. I, I love it for those kids. Those kids work hard. And I like Great how kids. Willie just made his decision and went with it. Oh, no, yeah. No need dragging that out. No, not at all. And that's a really, really, really good school, really yeah, good program. Yeah. They are the, – the Oklahoma State Cowboys are definitely getting them a, a steal, in my opinion. Not even a steal, just getting them a great player. Looks like we're going to have a loose ball foul on Chris Wilder. Lobo fans don't love it. Be interesting to see what they do with him when he gets up there. They're going to put him in the slot, play corner, let him stay at safety, yeah. see if he grows another inch or two. You can definitely utilize him and play him, play him in a lot of different areas. You can let him return punts. Yeah, definitely can return some punts. He can, he can, he can possibly get out there earlier doing early playing that. Nice pass to Barnabas Ballerain. Oh, no, nice block. Excellent job. Way to stay with loose it. ball finally ends up in the hands of the Lobos. There we got we go. one. Hey, we're starting. To, we're starting to only giving them one shot at it. And the urgency, the intensity is there. Yes. Wilder. I got to give Hazel some credit. They're doing an excellent job keeping these injured passes from getting into Blamberg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that definitely, that definitely fight him off there. And no, no need to rush into the shot. You can give it to him. Uh. Good job by Justice running that one down. Blamberg. He's been known to shoot that. Yes. Nice move by nice. Justice for three. Boom. Oh, wow. short. Look good, too. Stay with it, Chris. Wilder back there up. There you go, it. Chris Wilder with the, with the rebound and two points. I told you that's my biggest issue broadcast, and I call them before they go in. It hey, looks so it, good. It looked like it was right on line there, too. I'm going to let you do it from now on. 16-14, <laughs> 22 stay, with stay the basketball. Stay Got a three-point attempt. Short. There you go. Hey. It's three straight possessions that we've only just given them one shot at it, no second chance points, and, and they came away with nothing. Scoring, yeah, Absolutely. on the other end. Absolutely. So that nine point deficit is down to two. Lobos basketball with a chance to tie or take the lead. And and no rush. Longview is running their offense here. This is the bet. This is the good thing too. We're not settling just for any for any shots. Long pass to Davis Justice. Nothing there. Gets it back to Kendall Mitchell. Almost threw that one away. Landberg. Nice move. Mid-range floater. Just long. Just tough there. That was a great ball fight. And he's pretty good with that shot. It's yeah. just going to get his offense going tonight. Oh, yeah. Bellerain for three. The big man. Way off with that one. Rebound with Justice. It. You go with it. You got numbers. Three on two. Four on three. Nice Whoa, job. to the basket. Nice job. That was, hey, Davis Justin made the right play there. Nobody picked him up, and he was able to go all the way to the basket. Man, his offensive game, he's super underrated. Yes. That kid, we, we saw it that night against White House. He, yes. can, he can take the offense on and score if he needs to at he, will. There's a, there's a steal. He's been that he's been that second type top scorer or second or third top top option for you, and he's been answering the call. He's he's been getting smoother and been getting better and better as the season is going on. Mitchell thought about it in the A range three. <laughs> he, I seen him made it make it before. 
A little out of control. Oh! oh! Blamber! <laughs> with the putback! Yes, on his head. Hey, it's been all long for you the second quarter. I love it. My man in Texarkana be screaming, <laughs> Trey Carson be screaming, watch your head, watch your head right now. <laughs> hey, the momentum has not changed. It's been all long for you the second quarter. Look and at it. If can... just gets a rebound, you know that's going to be on ESPN. <laughs> It was a big time play by Robert. I'm happy for him. One of the things that I was telling him last week, man, is when you're playing on the road, I want to see you dunk a little bit more. And when you dunk, holler a little bit. You, you, you want to get that momentum on your side quickly. That's, that's the first time all year I've seen him kind of show a little attitude after yeah. two, like shaking his head, like, yeah, and, let's come on, get some. Oh, yeah. And I would I say these past couple of weeks from him, he's been showing more aggressiveness, especially looking for his shot or trying to get his shot. I forgot a jump ball here. As number one, junior Jalen Holly Lee checks in. We saw him just a little bit last week when the Lobos got in foul trouble. Going to play some big minutes for the Lobos here oh, yeah. on senior night. Although he's a junior. He checks in for Wilder. Anytime 22 has the basketball, he's yeah. got Holly Lee on him. Yeah, you definitely want to keep a body Whoa, on him. Whoa, threw an elbow to the rib cage. Yeah. No call. Uh, he didn't back down either. He stepped out of bounds. Uh, good, good defense there by Longview. As the Hollywood player wasn't there, to, he wasn't ready to catch the ball. Yeah, it's almost like we're watching a different basketball team this quarter. Yes. And that's a good thing. Yes. Hey, this is this is, this is is what I saw from, uh, from them on Friday. Uh, Tyler, Tyler hit him early. They stayed with it, kept kept running their offense, never showed, never played out of their norm, out of their own pace. And once they got the lead, they just never looked back. Looks like Halls, they, they've taken the best Halls who can give them. Mm -hmm. They're back in the lead. Oh, oh he slipped. Be okay, young man. Got another whistle. You never like that. Yeah, you don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding his hip. Looks like me getting out of bed. As we try to spell Robert here to end this half. Hopefully we can get us some, some big minutes with him on the bench. 143 left to go in the half. Your Lobos leading by two. Against their, uh, I don't, I don't want to call him a hated rival, but, you know, one of the bigger rivals yeah. the Lobos have. Nice move. Was able to let him get there. Gave him a lane. He didn't look back. It's Landon Bowden, senior for the Bobcats. We're all tied up. Campbell Williams gets that one low. He travels. Yeah, just feet wasn't settled there. Uh-oh. Lobos is... Get that one. Oh, oh that my goodness. We saw that coming. Chris Wilder set him up as, as he's running down the Three court. Three-point attempt. Kendrick Brown. Oh, he's just oh he nailed it. Him. He waved it off. He traveled. He traveled too. Oh, that would have been an awesome. Yeah, as his awesome. crowd is erupting, too. Wow, Chris Wilder. Looked like LeBron James yeah. coming from behind to block that one. <laughs> he sized him up. We got to get back. Oh, oh. he's got a steal there. Three-point attempts, no good. Wilder with the rebound. Speaking of athletes, Wilder looks like he could play some football, oh, too. Oh, yeah, he definitely looks like he can. You want to settle down here. Under a minute, 40-some seconds left to go. You want to set up for a good shot. Man, what a defensive play by yeah. Chris Wilder. Kendrick Brown makes a move. Nothing there. Back out to Campbell Williams. He's going to get back to Chris Head. 26 seconds left in the half. No need to no, no need to, uh, to rush a shot here. Let's get it settled for the last, last basket. We're going to have another good one, Keaton, every game this season. Every single game. Come down to the last two minutes. Yes, so indeed. Tied up here, 10 seconds to go. Chris Head with the basketball. He's going to make a move, find a shooter. Kendrick Brown's going to take it. No good. Man, just a little off there. No surprise, no foul. And we are going to head to halftime. All tied up. So at the end of two, it is Hallsville 18, Longview 18. You are watching live Lobo basketball on Longview game day. We'll see you in just a couple minutes.
Injuries aren't planned, and here at Longview Orthopedic, we're gonna to work together with patients to try to attain the best outcome possible for them. We have the ability to treat all injuries for all patients and athletes of all ages. One thing I want patients to understand is that, you know, I've been in their situation. I played football at Texas A&M University, played offensive line, I was a guard, and being an athlete, suffering injuries, and having that passion to get back on the field gave me a really good perspective on the other side of the line as a treating physician now because of Longview Orthopedic Clinic. Over the last 10 years, our office has achieved many record verdicts and settlements. Our commitment has always been to outwork and outfight any opponent we have in whatever courtroom we find ourselves in. At Godarzy and Young, we have settlements and verdicts that are unmatched. Whether you come face to face with the corporation or the insurance company, they know that if they don't justly compensate our clients, they're going to have to face the Godarzy and Young trial team in the court. Don't fumble when you're looking for your next trailer. At RJ Trailers, we got the hookup. Cargo Mate, Hallmark, Text Line, Diamond C. We've got the inventory selection to get you into the end zone. Step into savings with RJ Trailers. Don't pass up on the best deals around. RJ Trailers in Longview and online at rjtrailers.com. We've got the hookup. Crunch has everything you need to find your mode. Come check out Crunch Fitness with a free guest pass. Printing your photos just got easier. Just pick your size, color, and favorite photo and we'll do the rest. Because your unforgettable moments are meant to be framed. All right, welcome back. It is halftime, about seven and a half left to go before we get underway in the second half. Keaton, 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 what do you think about the Lobo second quarter performance there? Hey, that was, uh, it was a tale of two quarters. You got, you got Longview bad first quarter, Longview great second quarter. Um, one thing that, that we, we matched their intensity, um, we started playing a little bit harder, playing like we was capable of. We limit their second chance points, and once we started doing those, they pretty much didn't score until the to the end of of the other quarter. Um, they got an easier layup, but we was able to hold them to to make them to where they couldn't drive or do anything. We was limiting them to one possession at a time. Uh, we started converting on offensive end. Uh, Blandberg got a big big dunk. We kind of changed the things. Uh, I think he tied the game up with that dunk. We was able to make a run or make a swing of things. Um, so excited to, to, to see us do that. Hopefully we can continue that going into the second half as we've already, in my opinion, has seen the best that Hallsville has to offer. If we can stop McDermott, if we can stop him, um, stop their ball movement, if we can stop them from getting easier open looks, I think we, we can definitely convert. And when the shots, the shots go up, we got to get a got to get a man on a man to, to continue to, to limit the second chance points. Sure, and I think Chris Wilder's athleticism matches up a little better with this Hallsville team than, than some of the teams we've seen them play in the past. I, I totally agree here. I think I think that I think that um, I think that we've been seeing Wilder play a lot more in the second half here lately. I think if we can continue to see that, um, you see him come and match up with the big, the big on the big. Um, once we're able to get him, once we're able to figure out our matches, I think that's that's going to be key for us. Um, I think once we um, once we get to the second half, I think Hallsville is going to try to send us a send a, send send some different things at us. Uh, maybe send us with a zone, play a couple of de uh, couple of different defense. And one thing that we haven't seen from them is a full court press, which is one of our. I hope nobody's listening that we can potentially uh, play going forward. But if somebody's listening, they probably gonna press us, which that's what we struggle with. So hopefully we won't. We we have an answer for that, especially going to the playoffs with this being our last game going. All right, we got a third man for the booth for a couple minutes. 
This is Mr. Stephen Holland of Longview Orthopedic. He's in town. He just left Hallsville giving an award away. How are you doing tonight, Stephen? Doing great. Doing great. Could not miss out on an opportunity to come over and see how the Lobos are doing tonight. <laughs> you walked in right as, as Blamberg flew, threw it down on somebody's head a minute ago. Yeah. Man, I've heard a lot about this kid. Heard he's very exciting to watch. Lobo's got some size to work with. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait to see what he's going to do in the second half. Maybe he'll be a key player. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Luckiest thing I've ever had from Las Vegas. <laughs> big time. Yeah. Big time. Hey, every time every time we throw him out there, just big things happen. Um, just love the way he's improving more and more as the season is going along. Um, he's, he, he, he's not a selfish player by any means. He plays both offense, offense and defense, makes his presence felt on, on, on both ends. As he's had a big block tonight, too. And well. I can be honest, I'd like to see him be more selfish. Oh, I would, too. I really would. I would, too. I would, too. But at the same time, he's – he, he, he's a team guy. He, he's he, he's not a me first guy. He's a team first guy, and you couldn't coach a better player like that. As the old ball old old ball coach says, sometimes it's selfish to be unselfish. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely, we've seen him take some some deep threes too. I bet coach doesn't love that so much, but uh, he's knocked a couple of them down this yeah, year, and he's continued to keep doing it. So coach coach doesn't yell at him when he's shooting it. So obviously, he has it in his bag. Yeah, his little mid range game, his floater. A couple haven't gone down tonight, but once those are dropping, you almost can't defend the young man. Yeah, sometimes sometimes when he do, does get that shot, it's just a little straightforward. It's just not enough air on it, not enough arch on it, and it's just a line drive. So it's almost you don't give yourself that much wiggle room when you, when you shoot the ball like that. So he has to he has to find that mid range game, which is to come. Um, this this kid works hard. You'll see him after the game tonight. I guarantee you, you'll see him back out here on this court getting shots, getting layups in. And that's just been a product of what he's been for us all year. That's awesome. That's awesome. Guys that size, you got to be able to do a little bit of both. you got to be able to play inside, outside if you want to play at the next level. Yeah. So it's good to hear that he's been developed the right way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dad, brother, um, man, anybody, whoever, they, they can – they, they, they'll get down there and they, they, they'll stay down there with him and work out with him hard. Um, I, I love the I love the family that he comes from. He comes from good stock. Um, moms tell me, she, she tells me, you can be hard on my son. You can go down there and tell him what you need to tell him. And, he, and for the most part, I try not to tell that to – not, I try not to be critical on too many of these kids, but when I do say something, a lot of kids they do listen. So yeah. I guess I, <laughs> I guess the parents, I, I guess the parents is giving me the green light for that. Well, when you got you here, nah. long of you graduate, <laughs> legend here, no, 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 you no, gotta, no. you gotta take a little bit of that from me, right? No, no, no. Just yeah. been, just hearing it from a fan's perspective and and uh, seeing it from somebody else that's in the crowd that has the opportunity to talk to these kids, man. I. I take every advantage of it, no matter what sport it is. He's getting ready for these these young men to be uh, voting age. This is your future mayor. <laughs> That's what he's doing. <laughs> future mayor Longview right here. Hey, I'll take it. If the Lord pushes me that way, I'm definitely not going to push back. <laughs> we'd, we'd live stream your... Uh, your acceptance speech. <laughs> there we go. We'll do that. Live <laughs> Longview game day. <laughs> Coach King will be your running mate. <laughs> hey, be a if big I get, time, wouldn't it? Hey, if I can get Coach King to endorse me for anything or back me up for anything, I'm, I think I've done all right for myself. Oh, I bet he would. That'd be funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Lobos are back out. About 90 seconds left to go before we get started here in the third quarter. Like I said earlier, Keaton, it looks like it's going to go down to the wire like every single live stream we've had this year. I'd like for one to not, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. it's going to be a good game. Hey, this is this is two teams, top four teams in the, in the playoffs. Longview's at three. If they win tonight and Tyler High loses, they move up to the two seed. Wow. Hallsville is at the four spot. Need a win to stay there to lock this spot in um, because I think uh, – uh, White House. White House is in the fifth spot, and they're playing Marshall. Marshall's the last place in the district, and if you want to just go off the standings, White House should take care of that game. Mm -hmm. So you're hoping sure. that it can come out to a great finish. And Tyler is in Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant doesn't technically have anything to play for, but they're 33 and 0. So right, they're not going Don't to just take a loss. absolutely. They're not going to lay down for Tyler. So. Mm -hmm. I got the chance. odds are Tyler's probably not going to loop, to win that game. Yeah, yeah, we saw them last week, yeah. my goodness. Because Mount Pleasant is still undefeated. Some tells me they're not going to lay down on the last game to finish out the regular season with an undefeated record. While you were shaking hands with that young man, I said, 
literally those exact same words. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even down to the word laying down on them. I'm so sorry. That's, I'm but, so sorry. You guys been calling games together for a little while? <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that's number one. I count how many times he takes his headset off to say hello to somebody. That's the first one. And, and, and I try to keep my headset on yeah. for that reason. That's right. yeah, we, we keep it about number three and a half every, every game. But it's a good thing. He knows everybody. Yeah. Uh, and I have, you know, I have to assume if everyone loves him, then he's, you know, he's, he brings something to the table. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I'm just, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed to be a blessing, and man, just try to use whatever smile or whatever I can to, 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 to do what I can. Mr. Lobo. <laughs> Lobos are going to start this half with possession, all tied up at 18 here against Mahalsville. Again, Hallsville's playing for the playoff life. Lobos are playing for that two seed. Davis Justice can't get that floater to go. A little bit short, and it's Hallsville basketball. Uh -uh. Good block there Good by play, Davis. Davis. He outs of that shot. Kendall Mitchell looking for a shot. Nice move. Finds Chris Head. Inside to Campbell Williams. Back out to Blamberg. There you go. Just jump stop. Chris Head can't finish. Nice move Tips there. Tips his hey. own. <laughs> that nice, nice putback layup there by your point guard. Strong kid. Yeah, once he gets that ball inside, it's hard to get him off the dribble. Hey, That's McDermott there with again. a nice McDermott. floater. Nice floater. I mean, he is impressive tonight for uh, Hallsville. And he's guarding Blamberg down low. Mm -hmm. It's insane. He's playing double duty. Yeah. He's, he's needing the score offensively. <laughs> and he's guarding the best player defensively. Mitchell ends up with the rebound, puts it back. Talk about a kid that's earned his stripes over the years. Mm -hmm. I've watched him come up through the JV ranks, sit on the bench on the varsity, and here he is, really been a key player. Blamberg fouls McDermott. Takes a fall. It wasn't too hard to foul, but going to send him to the line and just a hunch he can shoot free throws pretty oh, yeah. well. Oh, yeah. And Kendall Mitchell doesn't have a whole lot of weaknesses either. He can sh flat out shoot the rock. Yeah. We've seen him dunk about eight times on the stream. Yeah, not, he's, he's not your not your biggest player out there on the court, but he's probably right there with Blamberg, for, probably for the most dunks on the season. Got that prototypical length for a wing player. Long arms. Mm -hmm. So McDermott's at the line. He's got 12. This free throw's got a chance to tie the ball game back up with six and a half to go here in the third quarter. Just misses, and Blamberg comes away with the rebound, and it's Lobo basketball. Just showing great patience here. No, nope, not rushing anything. And that's a good screen there. Uh, shot doesn't go down for Kendall. And again, Hulse was done a great job tonight. Yeah. Keeping the ball out of the paint defensively. 22. Nice Ooh. block. Mm. Mm. Nice block there by Blenberg as he McDermott couldn't do anything about that. Nope. I think number three just kind of loses his balance there. Mm -hmm. Falls on the back of We're going to get Campbell Williams. That's his second foul tonight. Two quick ones for the Lobos. 14, Cameron McDonald's. A freshman checks in for Halswell for the first time tonight. Here's 22 again. It's good by Davis Justice staying in front of McDermott. Uh, and have a third foul on Longview. Yeah, and that's, that's another foul on Blair Bird as he picks up two quick fouls this quarter. Be two shots. It's number 30, Luke Chatham or Cheatham. Second on Blamberg. Good, so, good backdoor screen there. Man, he knew somebody was going to foul him. That's the first point tonight for the senior. And the second's good. So Halls will back on top. Just under six minutes left in the third quarter here from the Coliseum. Cross-court pass. Mitchell passes up the three, takes the little mid-range floater. That's a little long. 
Really a floater. That was a jump shot on the fadeaway. Yep. 14, the freshman. Going to have a foul. If that's on 10, he might have to take a seat. Uh, but it's going to be Campbell Williams, I think. Not the way you want to, you want your big man to start the quarter, picking up three fouls here. Uh, you got Campbell from that one. But yeah. that's three for Campbell. But Chris Wilder's going to check in. Saying earlier, you've been seeing a lot of Chris Chris Wilder playing a lot more minutes in the second <laughs> half. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Watch that behind you. you. Uh, good hustle there by Borner. This Did he clap for that ball? <laughs> I think he clapped it. Oswald tried to throw it off of Mitchell. Yeah. And man, he just caught it. Yeah, he showed some good DB skills there. Looks like he's been working his hands on the jug machine. We saw that work earlier in the game. Freshman almost steals that one. Chris Head comes away with it. He's going to be fouled. I believe that's going to be 11. No? 14. They're going to get the freshman 14. Cameron McDonald, that's his first. Inbound to Mitchell. Open look. NBA range. Just long. Blandberg picks up a long rebound. Going to slow it down and set the offense back up. Mm. Nice defense by Hoswell there. Chris Head can't get that to go. Yep. And Hoswell's offense right now is basically get the ball to 22, let him get to the rack and find an open shooter or, or, or score. On cue. Cue. <laughs> Kid can play. Yeah. He's, he's about one of the only Hallsville players that can, that can move without the basketball. Or they can, they can create his own shot with the basketball. And that is going to be foul number five for Longview. Quick Very five. early here yeah. in the second half. So Less than halfway through this quarter. Inbound pass. Almost stolen That's by the low goals. I caught him oh. out. I don't know that he had possession, but they're going to give him the timeout. Yeah, they got the coach over here screaming for it. Sure, so while they take a break, we're going to take one with them. We'll be back here. You're watching Lobo Basketball Live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. All right, we're back. Got a good look at the Lobos there. Out of the timeout. In the hands of McDermott. There's 11, that's Barnabas Ballerain. Blanketed by Blandberg. Mm, Probably yeah. not the shot you want, oh. but 22 steals it from behind. <laughs> Don't pick up that foul. Yeah. That was almost a frustration foul by Blandberg. 22, nice pump. Finds the open shooter. Boom! He has a great stroke. Is that Luke? That's Luke Cheatham. Yeah, he has a good stroke there. The 22 is just so good that everybody in it, when the Lobos has to react, and it's going to leave open shooters. They knock those down. There's just not much you can do to defend this Hallsville team right now. Yeah, and, and, I, and I know they stole the ball from us, but I'm going I'm to I'm consider that like a second-chance point. And, and we can just limit them to just one just one shot. Just one shot. That, that, that'll bowl well for us. Blenberg can't get the turnaround to go, but it's knocked out of bounds off Hallsville. It's going to stay with Longview. Nice post move. You just want to be automatic there. Yeah. Got, you got him down. You got numbers there, but he, he gets right back up. Looks like we had a little accidental poke in the eye. They're going to get five for the foul, Jace Johnston. Looks like Davis Justice is okay. Some of that intensity that we saw in the second half, in the second quarter for the Lobos, doesn't look like it's there early on here in the third, but we saw him turn it on pretty quickly. They flipped the switch, so yeah. Chris Head in isolation. Nice move, jump shots, no good. 
Rebound to 11, Barnabas Ballerain. Blamberg, be careful. <laughs> Don't want him picking up a frustration uh, foul, 90 feet from the basket. Exactly. Exactly. Not that far away. Travel. I was wondering, I didn't see what he did here, but I was looking, when I heard that whistle call, I was like, I didn't see a foul nowhere. <laughs> one-on-one -on -one basketball for Lobos tonight. Yeah. Not something we've seen much of this year. Chris Wilder calls for it. A little turnaround. There you go. Nice shot. There you go. He was working hard for it, and he, he made that two points count. Three 22 points. McDermott with the basketball, looking for a screen. Finds the open shooter again. Money. Wow. I mean, man. Wow. Wow. That, this little kid, he once he get his feet set and get his body squared at that basket, he has a, he has a pretty stroke. Five point lead for Hall. Two minutes to go, third quarter here. Chris Wilder, back to Chris Head, looking to get the ball inside to Blamberg, but again, Hall's was not allowing that entry pass tonight at all. Cross court pass, Justice open three from the corner. Hey, Money. That's smart, that's wow. smart by your point guard there, moving it, moving it, moving your player over to the corner. And of course, what Hollisville is doing, they're not going to allow Blandberg to catch an easy lob for a dunk. And he was right. able to skip that ball. Offensive foul. Oh. He offensive foul on, on McDermott. He's been pushing off. He's been having that arm out there all night. Oh. That's only his second. But you're right, I've seen that a few times tonight. A couple times he's drawn the foul on the Lobos doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's Lobo basketball with a chance to tie or take the lead here. Watch the same type of setup oh. here. Another open look. Mitchell for three. Corner. Just oh, off. Short. Uh oh. I wouldn't go up on Wilder. Oh, oh he got called for the foul. That's number five, Jace Johnston. Down the stretch here, watch these guys getting a little chippy on yep. both sides. Yep, yep. Hallsville coach looked like he was very close to getting a technical <laughs> foul. The first one's no go. good. Hey, that makes that a good foul, but it puts Chris Wilder with, with also three fouls. You don't like to see that out of your big man. Put yeah, him in Campbell I, Yeah, I like the way Wilder matches up with this Hallsville team tonight. Yeah. So Johnston gets the second to go. He's got three tonight, and it's a three-point game. As Hallsville substitutes almost the entire team, that leave 30 and 22 on the court. And those have been the guys that have been, uh, has been scoring this second half. For those two have two. combined for 20 of Hallsville's 30. Head with the move inside. Not a lot there. Sh goes up anyway, and it goes. You get the shooters bounce there. Able to bring us in within one under a minute left to close out this third quarter. He had a shooter in the corner he was going to go to, but he slipped and fell. So he just went ahead and took it up. Yeah, looks like they kind of banged knees there. It looks like Luke Cheetah is, is hurting a little bit right now. As we had his little stoppage of play. You don't want to see anybody get injured. Nope. Absolutely not. But Watch the push off here. The three-point assassin goes down. It wouldn't be a terrible thing for the Lobos. Mm, that puts them in the bonus. One-on-one on one there. Oh. One of their better shooters at, at the free throw line. They're shooting free throws the entire fourth quarter. So. And that's also three fouls there. Yeah, on several Chris. guys on. Three fouls, got to play carefully starting the fourth. Yeah. Three on head, three on Campbell Williams, and three on Chris Wilder. And the first one's good for Cheatham. I wasn't paying attention, not sure what the boos are coming I for. I don't know what the boos are for neither. This is a one-on-one. One. Thank the... Thank the Oh, Luke. They're saying Luke. Oh, uh, okay, okay, <laughs> That okay. makes way more sense. Yeah, I'm going to say, I don't understand it neither. Uh-oh, here comes the press. 
This is what I was just talking about here. I was curious to see if, if we was going to see this from Hallsville. About 30 seconds left to go, third quarter. Lobos trail by three. Landberg thought he was going to square up there and shoot that. Mitchell turns the corner off of Blanberg's screen. Oh, can't shot. Him. With it. Blanberg's there and he's fouled. <laughs> yeah, he's, no, he's. Yeah. And they're calling in on the ground. Oh, he's shooting. All right. They send Blanberg in line for two. <laughs> Had me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> thought he might have gone over the back there. Just possible. So Blanberg's going to shoot his first free throw attempt tonight. And just short. 20 seconds left to go, third quarter. Seconds good. So Blandberg's got five tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if 22 just takes his man here and takes a step back three point attempt. Yeah, if he can get it. Oh, man. Foul, that's Mitchell. I believe that's three on him now. Yeah, come on. You don't want That's going to no. be two just, on him. Just two. Okay. You don't want Hallsville making a living from the free throw line, especially with McDermott and uh, and Luke Cheatham from the free throw line because those, those kids can shoot. So McDermott makes both. And it's a four-point game with eight seconds left. Got to go quick here. Six, five, four. Does he see it? Three, two. Oh, he passed. Oh, he, he got it off. Mm. A little oh. short. So Kendall Mitchell can't get that to go from the corner. That's the end of the third here from the Coliseum. Longview trails Hallsville 34 to 30. We're going to take a quick break and come back to the fourth quarter. You're watching Lobo Basketball Longview Game Day Live. At Godarzy and Young, we take things more seriously. Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? you know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today, only at Juicy's Taco. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter, Lobos trail by four. Again, Keaton gonna have another salty finish here. Yeah, we, yeah, we're gonna have to play some defense here. Um, and these are the kind of games that, that if you're Longview, you're going to have to find a way to pull out or you're, you're just simply not going to advance very far. In the yeah. Playoffs. It's just the, the reality of the situation. Yeah, and, and, and it's tough, man. You, you get a, you get to play a team in Tyler High last week, a team that's in standings rise above you, and you 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 play up to the pressure. And then tonight you don't you don't match that same intensity. <laughs> Freshman Cameron McDonald with a chance for a three-point play. Who got him there? <laughs> that was 23. Uh, that's his third. Uh, Wait, was it not? No, that's four on Wilder. Five, yeah. Wow. And he completes a three-point play. So those are his first points tonight. And it's a seven-point game just like that. Yep. Hey, might not be a bad idea to run the same set they've been running. Now perhaps take a shot fake, see if they can get the ball inside. Yeah. They need some easy baskets here just to regain the momentum a little bit. And you still got a lot of ball game left here, so you don't want right. to rush. There's no sense of, you don't, don't have to play play with this sense of urgency. Pump fake here, or do something. Uh -huh. That bounce pass Forcing right there, yeah. Side. Cheat him with the steal. Especially when you see the way Hallsville is active as they playing defensively. A bounce pass right there. Oh, man, this is fourth foul. Yeah. Gotta be smart than that. Gonna get Chris Head for that foul. And the Lobos are headed towards foul trouble. Let me rephrase that. We've already arrived at foul trouble. Yeah, we're in a double bonus now. So it's two shots the rest of the way, every single foul. So Grayson Magistro and his first point tonight. I feel like all of them made like they last six or seven straight in free throws yeah. in a row. Yeah, Kinda I don't think this is a team you want to send the line no, too often in the no, fourth no. quarter. They have been easily one of the best 
one of the teams that I've seen, they've been one of the best shooting teams so far. Yeah, it's tough. So now it's a nine-point game, and Coach Weaver's going to call a timeout. We're just going to stay here through this timeout. Yeah, kill, you got to recess. Kill the crowd, Mike. That way we don't uh, play any unlicensed music here. Yeah, you got to stop. You got to reassess your strategy here. What are you going to do? You got to play a little bit more conservatively. You've got two guys with four fouls. You got to figure out what you're going to do defensively to try to keep guys out of further foul trouble. You can't get you can't get your players like Blamberg in foul trouble in any more foul trouble. I think Kendall Mitchell has three. You don't need him to pick up another foul. I think it's time to get Campbell Williams back in the game and run your two posts down low and, yeah. and see if he can't get some easy buckets down low. Yeah, you yeah. you you was hoping to get something out of Wilder, but it's, instead he's just been fouling. This is, he's picked up his fourth foul. Um, he not sent not not bad than him. Not bad bad talking about him or anything, but. He just hasn't shown much offensively tonight, even though he has scored a few a few buck, buckets for us. Um, you, it's you been gotta, pretty you clutch got, You got to get, get Campbell in, in for, for, for this stretch. Might not be bad here to try to get him to pick up the pace a little bit, see if they can make some mistakes yeah. here down the stretch. They yeah. haven't had to really take any true attempted baskets in a while because most of their points have been from the free throw line, so yeah. it might not be a bad approach. And start being aggressive. Let's, let's draw some fouls too. Let's, let's get into the bonus like we're capable of. There you go. Davis just as he's fouled. Yeah. Nice. Right on cue there with that with, for Davis. That's Cheatham. Only his second, so the Bobcats aren't in foul trouble at all. Davis Justice with a chance to draw this to seven if he knocks both these down. And the first one's good. One of your better shooters, too, from the, for he's us, for the Lobos. He's in double digits now. That's ten for Davis. Second's good. Another time out here by Long Beach. As we may set up a set up us a full court press here. That'd be a good that'd be a good kind of speed hog. Speed them yeah. up just a little bit, see if there's an opportunity to Get them into a situation to make some mistakes. Yeah, because throw the ball, make some bad passes. But you got to be careful because you got a lot of players with four fouls. All right, we're going to take a quick break. This one's going to be brought to you by Crunch Fitness. We'll be back in about 15 seconds. Crunch has everything you need to find your mode. Come check out Crunch Fitness with a free guest pass. Welcome back. It's going to be Hallsville basketball leading by seven with 6.56 left to go in this one. Again, they've, they're they playing for their playoff lives. The Lobos have a spot locked up but could move up into second with a win tonight. There you go here, full here court pressure. Here comes that full court pressure you talked about. Yeah, yeah, stay with it, stay with it. And Hallsville, I can just tell some of their kids are just too. Don't reach here. Just be patient. Play carry. The double. There you go. There you go. Force the turnover. And yeah, force the turnover. But what you, them, go ahead. Yeah, what you want to do here is play the pass. Mm -hmm. You know, stay steady on the ball. Play the pass. You don't need to reach. Don't play desperate right here. The one thing about that full court press, you want to be able to rush them. Yes. Make them make, put them in a position to make them make a mistake, and that's what you just did there. Absolutely. Force that ball into the freshman's hand. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Got another and foul here. Foul. Hey, two fouls right there in the last two drives for us. Definitely want to continue to keep staying aggressive and drive. One more and we're shooting. Yep. Just a note here, four teams now. Got three fouls. Get back to him. Kendall Mitchell, deep three-point attempt. Oh. Long rebound ahead. Back out to an open shooter, Justice. He passes it up. Look, he's Blamberg's calling for the ball. Nice yeah. move. Blamberg can't. Grab the rebound, but Wilder's there. Open look for Chris Head. He's going to take a three-pointer. Oh, That's man. off. Had a good look at it there. Still a seven-point game. Six minutes left. Freshman goes Great up on Blamberg. Great defense by defense. Blamberg. Great Kendall defense. Mitchell Keep going. You got numbers. You got justice. numbers. Blamberg. Got numbers here. Oh. Up with it. Strong. And one. 
Woo! And that puts us in the bonus right there here. As we done, we done made them foul us the last three I don't know if drives. you can see it. Blamberg was calling for the law. Yes, the way down. That would have brought was. the house yes. up in this place. Yes. You could tell him he just turned to, he turned to justice and said, hey, throw that up. I did see that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was ready to erupt and pull your shirt off. Hey, that's why I already stood up. <laughs> was I was already, ready to. <laughs> I had all of it. <laughs> so it's a five-point game. Blamberg's got a chance to, to convert the three-point play to make it a four-point contest, and he does. There we go there. As we put picking back up in full court press here. There we go. Pull up. <laughs> he slams I mean, the ball off of Wilder's knee. I mean, he's slamming it hard, too. Can't feel good. He don't want to take a chance of getting it intercepted again. Uh -huh. Oh, almost. just a, just a step Easy slow. don't. Nope. Oh, that was almost it. Wilder's nope. fifth. Play the pass. Play the pass here, guys. Hey, he's out of control there. Don't bail him out. He's out of control. They're going for that layup. You're going to get Blamberg for his third. You can just go straight up and just make him do something acrobatic. We would take that. Yeah, he take was out of control. You could, charge could have been taken fairly easily yeah. there. But as they say, keeping the ball. Don't ball lie. Don't lie. Doesn't the ball, don't don't lie. Worst case scenario, the Hallsville comes away with one point this possession. And that's good for McDermott. He's got 15 now. If we can go down there with a basket here, we, we can definitely trade twos for ones. Lobos are in the, in the bonus now. Stay up, stay He's up. kept his dribble. Wow. That's pretty unusual there. Justice finds the open man, Wilder, back to head. They, they're just doing a good job keeping that entry pass from getting there. Head can't finish, but Blamberg. Oh, wow. There he's fouled again. Yeah, he's fouled again. They're going to get 11 for that foul, Mr. Barnabas Ballerain. Here when you run that full court press, there's a chance that, hey, you might end up giving up a shot here or there. You'll take that over the foul and just realize, again, you're speeding up the game. That's another possession, yeah. another opportunity. Yeah, he misses both of them. Kind of rushed, rushed the shots. Looked like his timer from the free throws just wasn't off. It, just, it was off. Keep him in front here. No, no fouls, Chris. No, sir. Good nice D. job. Good D. Landberg, it's long it's going to be Longview basketball. It's good defense. And a good job by Chris Wilder not picking up that fifth That's foul. Absolutely right. Important. He's just so aggressive defensively. You could possibly go down here, get you a score. It might not be a bad time to pull out a sub, get your guys with four fouls, an opportunity to take a breather and go. Got an open shooter coming off the screen here. Didn't get there. Blandenburg is going to find Chris Head. There's the shooter. Mitchell, deep three. Long. Hey, Blandenburg is there. And, and, and one. one again. Crazy oh, deep. Hey, it's been all. Big every, man's asserting himself here yeah, in the fourth quarter. Every single rebound, I think that's like three or four offensive rebounds by him this, this quarter alone. Good chance to, again, get, get some of those guys with four fouls out. Lambert converts a three-point play, so he's got 11 now. Here comes the screen. Stolen. Nice. Three on one. Got numbers. Mitchell. Tied up. Tied up. ball game. Tied up. Tied game. What a sequence of events for the Lobos. Yeah, it, is all, started deficit. With, it all started with the full court pressure. I'm Down sorry. to zero in yep. about a minute and a half of game time. So, so easy. Uh, no. Yeah. How many is that on two? I think oh, that's just first. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say I think he's good. Holding our breath up here. Was it last week where the whole team was in foul trouble yeah, against Mount yeah, Pleasant? Yes, yes. The first one from McDermott is good. Halls was back on top. And the second's good. Yeah, you don't want to be fouling McDermott a whole lot more the rest of this game. We're about four <laughs> minutes left in this one. Two point game. Swing it. Hello. 
Hey, I believe this is the first time we've seen a zone defense from Hallsville. They're doing a great job swinging it, mm -hmm. playing that high-low. Right. Seeing what they can create right there. Yeah. Very nice offensive pattern. You got a lot of shooters here, so don't rush. Don't rush anything here. There it is, high low. A little short corner. Nothing open. Justice is open for three. Take it. Oh. Be patient. I can scramble a little bit. Also, it's not even thinking about biting on those pump fakes in the three-point line. Nope, not at all here. Just sound defensively. Oh, oh. and the ball's thrown away. Oh. Turnover, it's Hallsville basketball leading by two. What they're trying to do there again is just play the high-low, nothing open, reverse the ball, swing it to the other side, play the high-low, nothing open. Close one. There's yeah. that forearm again. Oh, yeah. Stay down. Stay down. Good defense here by us. You basically want anybody but 22 oh, and 30. Oh, another push off, which <laughs> they just got away with. Yeah. Stay down, now. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. There Settle. we go. Slow, slow down. Slow, you don't, slow you down. don't have numbers. So you want to slow it down. Halsel's going to call a timeout, settle things down here. Good defensive possession by the Lobos, but they turn it over, get a little out of control on the other end of the court. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we're going to stay here with you. This feels like a big one, Keaton, yeah. momentum-wise. You don't want to go into the playoffs kind of backing your way in, losing to your, your, one of your rivals in a game that, uh, you know, you just didn't play your best. Yeah, you, you want to – you play, you, you started out slow this, the, 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 the first – the fourth quarter, and then you started, you started getting in the rhythm and started running with it. You want to keep that rolling, especially right, right before the playoffs. You want to be playing at one of your best – you want to be playing your best basketball at this time of the year anyway. If you're just joining us, hadn't heard, Lady Lobos knocked off Kingwood Park 38-26 down in Nacogdoches to advance to the second round of the playoffs. We assume the game will be in the Dallas area somewhere. We're not sure yet, but it's going to happen Friday either way. I believe Kendall Mitchell just picked up maybe what could be his, oh, just his third foul. We'll take it. But it's going to send McDermott to the line again for two more. Yeah. He is... Nine for ten tonight from the line. Make that ten for eleven. Or ten, yeah. <laughs> He's got nineteen. Yeah, you don't want you don't, don't want him shooting too much. But he's one of their best players. He's gonna get the ball in his hand every single time. These next two possessions are key. Yep. You need to try to get Justice an open look for three. There you go. And he's got one. He passes it up, stepping mm -hmm. back. Chris Head's going to take one. That's he's long. Nice shot. And, and that's what Hallsville wants in his own defense. Want to force out, force us to shoot the ball. Barnabas puts it back. That's 11 ball of rain. That's his second bucket tonight. He's got four, and it's a six-point game. These possessions are getting really important now for the Lobos. Mm -hmm. Mitchell takes a long one. That's no good. I believe he's, he's been over from the three-point line tonight. No. Oh. He's frustrated. He's frustrated right now. That picks up his fourth foul. And that's going to send Cheatham to the line. Yep. The only two players that are, that are in double figures tonight is or pretty much bringing it home for Hallsville. After this free throw, they now have 30 of the Bobcats, 47 between the two of them. Huh. 
It's been the, it's been the Cheatham McDermott show for the, for Hallsville tonight. And try. It's still a ball game, but you're gonna have to get something going offensively pretty quickly. Get the ball inside if you can. Here. There's our guy. And that's no good. Just, just one of those nights for Lobo shooting the basketball, it looks like. Don't want to foul one of these two guys if you, if you can avoid it. No, nope. especially with, with your players, with some of your best players to have four fouls already. Foul him. There you go. That's oh, considered 11. Instead. Oh, no foul. No, no foul. So Hallsville gets the timeout first. And we're going to take a break with them. You are watching Lobo Basketball live on Longview Game Day. Injuries aren't planned. And here at Longview Orthopedic, we're going to work together with patients to try to attain the best outcome possible for them. We have the ability to treat all injuries for all patients and athletes of all ages. One thing I want patients to understand is that, you know, I've been in their situation. I played football at Texas A&M University, played offensive line, I was a guard, and being an athlete, suffering injuries, and having that passion to get back on the field gave me a really good perspective on the other side of the line as a treating physician now because of Longview Orthopedic Clinic. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. Welcome back. 47-40. Lobo's trail at home. 48 seconds left in this one. Again, this is the regular season finale for the Lobos, senior night. They have a playoff spot clinched. We'll know a little later on where they're headed, whether that's Monday or Tuesday night. And yeah. Chris Head's going to pick up a foul, and that's going to send McDermott to the line. And that's five for Chris. It's tough there. And Brian Banks is going to check in for him. And the senior's going to get some minutes tonight on senior night. I'll take that back. We're under a minute, so a minute on senior night. Mm -hmm. Dermot again, 10 for 11 from the free throw line. And he makes the first, so that's 20 for McDermott. Big night for the young man. It's a pretty impressive player, I've got to be honest. Yeah. Does everything well. Chris Wilder can't control that one, but it's Longview basketball either way. Yeah, we haven't seen a performance like that against against us pretty much pretty much all season. Um, so credit credit to McDermott. He's look he looked great for them. You gotta push it. Gotta push it. Time is not on your side. Almost got a call for offensive foul there. Wilder's going to take a three. There, there we go. go. Chris Wilder with a three. It's a five-point game as McDermott's going to go to the line again. A couple of free throws here all but wrap this one up. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-one. From McDermott. The name, I'm not sure what his first name is. It's got to be Anthony. There's a Y missing from the sheet we got, but 50-43, 10 seconds to go in this one. Landberg's going to take a three from the corner. That's going to be short. Rebound to Hallsville, and that is going to do it. So Lobos fall to the Bobcats on senior night here from the Coliseum. It is about 9.15, so we're going to wrap this one up, let our students on the cameras get home. 
We appreciate you tuning in. We'll have some information about our next broadcast, whether that's the girls' game on the road or a soccer game Friday night. Softball season's kicking off. Appreciate our, our LISD camera people. Appreciate our producer, uh, Stephen Holland from Longview Orthopedics, stopping by to be with us. Always great. For Keaton Daniels, uh, you have watched a Lobo broadcast live on Longview Game Day. We will see you.